Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another Solar Power update video. Today is is Friday the 22nd of January and I have bought a battery monitor for my system. So I bought this on eBay. It's a NASA BM1 compact. It is a battery monitor. It's a 12 volt only model, this one. And this one can measure currents of up to a hundred amps. So I bought this. I'll just show you the box. It continually monitors the voltage, the current, and the battery's state of charge and the time to charge or discharge. So I will show you this. I bought this for about £70 on eBay. The going rate for new models is around £100. This was, a, was advertised as X demo, but I'll go into that later. So this is the NASA BM1 Compact. It's mainly intended for marine use on boats, but I'll show you the box. It also can be used in RVs and motorhomes, and as well as boats. But I am using it on my solar power and wind power system. Just show you there. Okay, the actual unit is up here, as you can see. It shows the battery voltage and the current that you are drawing from the battery or charging the battery. So at the moment you can see my battery banks at 12.9 volts and I am drawing a current of between 1.1 and 1.2 amps. I'm running this LED light and my USB chargers and I'm using the DC battery charger. It's, as you can see it shows the battery voltage and the discharge current in this case and on the side there's a bar graph that shows the state of charge of the battery in percentages. If I press the time button at the top you'll see that it says my batteries are 95% charged and if I continue to draw my the current discharge current which is just which is about 1.2 amps the batteries will be discharged in 199 hours so no problems there no. you can see that there is a backlight to the display it is blue I press the this button to go back to the volts and the amps. So if I just take it over to the battery bank, I'm trying not to be too loud as it is late at night. So this is the battery box as you've seen before. I'll buy three 12 volt 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries. These AGM sealed type batteries, the valve regulated type. They are wired in parallel to form a bank of 12 volts, 300 amp hours. Uh, the usable capacity is half of that, so it would be 150 amp hours. As you can see, I have a desulfator wired across the battery bank. Anyway, the, the change I made here is I have installed the shunt for the battery monitor. This is a 100 amp shunt which if you draw 100 amps through the shunt it develops 50 millivolts across the shunt so it's a 50 millivolt shunt you can see here now the shunt has to be wired in series with the batteries and in virtually all cases it's wired in the negative line so it's wired before the negative terminal of the battery. So 
So as you can see, all my loads are connected on this side of the shunt. So I've got the inverter, the solar charge controller, and the wind generator. It goes through the shunt, and there is a return to the battery. Just the thick wire that you can see there. So there are two connections to the shunt and then there is a supply from the battery to power the monitor. There is a low value fuse in line as well. The instructions say that the monitor draws about one and a half milliamps from the battery bank so it's a very low draw. The monitor is connected all the time, so that's how that is. So that is the shunt. So everything flows through the shunt. If I need to use the battery charger, I will connect the negative cable to this side of the shunt instead of connecting it directly to the battery negative so that's how that works and then when I use the battery charger the charging current will be shown on the on the NASA BM1 compact battery monitor so that's how this works with this system with this new monitor I will be able to monitor all the loads drawn from the battery including the inverter so that's how that is. The meter monitors the net discharge or charge of the battery bank. So if the solar or wind is generating power, but I am using power as well, then the meter will show the net difference, whether I'm gaining or losing. So that's how that works. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. There will be more updates coming soon. I also bought some new cable to wire my batteries with. I bought some 16mm cable that is good for 110 amps and some crimpon terminals. But that will be a story for another day. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. And until next time. Thank you.